because it doesn't seem to be uh, very easy to find tutorials. Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks and today I am going to show you how to do a shell stitch in the round and a sneak peek of what we get to make with it tomorrow. Derek calls this my orange sherbet hat. I think it's kind of funny. Orange sherbet hat, this one is the green sherbet hat. I don't know. I think it's a funny name. But that not, doesn't have to be orange. I'm going to show you how to do a shell stitch in the round because it doesn't seem to be uh, very easy to find tutorials. And I had to remind myself on how to do it so I thought I would share it with you guys. So let's get started. And I'm using Red Heart Super Saver and this is Delft Blue. I thought it would show up nicely on this tutorial. So what we need to do is a slip knot any way you want. I'm using a five and a half millimeter hook which is what it calls for on the sleeve of my yarn. And we are going to do chains and multiples of six. So I do the first six, there's four, five, and six. And my sneaky way of making a ring, if you have a nice flat hook, go in to the very first chain, like that, slip it on the bottom, so then it doesn't twist. Isn't that neat? It won't twist. So there's six. Let's go to 30. Eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. I'm going to mark that very last chain. We want to make sure it doesn't disappear. Sometimes it gets a little bit tight, and then you'll have to pull everything apart, and you'd be sad. So this makes it easy that way. Let's pull that through the very first chain and chain one. So now we have a ring that's not twisted, and it's perfect. So we want to start back in this very first chain that we have marked with a single crochet. Very, very easy. And now let's mark that stitch. Mark our single crochet that we just made. Alright, and the repetition on this is very simple. We did a single crochet, we're going to skip two, skip one, two, and five double crochets in the third stitch, or the third chain. we we'll do five. One, two, three, oopsie, four, and five. Skip two, one, two. This one gets a single crochet, so that third chain over. Now we're good. that's the repetition all the way around. Skip two, one, two, Gonna skip, skip, five double crochets in the same stitch. See, that's a repeat is really simple. Tricky part is when you make it back to the starting point, and I'll show you how to do that really, really easily. Skip two, one, two. This one gets a single crochet. Skip two, one, two. One, two, five double crochet. Now we're at the very end. There's our last two that we want to skip. One, two. So right here in our marked stitch, you want to do a slip stitch. Now we're going to start on the next row. So we did chain, or we did. So we did shells all the way around with a single, single crochet in the middle. So we're going to chain one, and then in this same stitch that's marked right now, I'm going to put in three double crochets. So we're doing about a little bit more than half, but we're doing technically a half 
of a fan or half of a shell and we'll finish the rest of it when we get back over here. So then you skip two, one, two, and a single crochet on the peak. Skip two, one, two, five double crochets in the valley. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip two, one, two, a single crochet on the peak. And now we made it all the way around because we're going to skip these two as we would skip two. But in this marked stitch, that's because I, I haven't moved my stitch marker yet. These are the three double crochets that we made that's half a fan. So we're going to do the other two in that same stitch. One. And two. And now to bring this whole thing together, in the very first double crochet stitch, we want to do our single crochet, just like you do on the top of any other shell or any other five double crochet cluster. So now we can take this guy out and mark our single crochet that we just did and start the same repeats. So. We skip two, and it's valley, so that means it's five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip two, and it's a peak, so it's a single crochet. Skip two, five double crochet. And we're almost back to the beginning. That's the tricky part. But it'll sound familiar. Skip two, single crochet on the peak. Skip two, and five. And then we have our last two. We have to skip that, and we're back to our stitch marker. So I'm going to do a slip stitch like we did the first round. This is just a slip stitch. Chain one. And three. Double crochet. So we're doing half of a fan. Skip two. Single crochet on the top of the peak. Skip two. Five double crochets in the valley same sequence all the way around. Skip two, we're at a peak so it's a single crochet. Skip two, the valley gets five. And now we're going to skip these last two and I'm going to put in our marked stitch the last two double crochets for that shell or fan, whichever one you want to call it. And now, in the very first one, you do the single crochet as you would in the top of any other peak. And now I can move my stitch marker. And then you can see it end up like this all the way around, just alternating. Shell, shell, shell. There's a shell here, a shell here, shell here, shell here. So they stack here, they stack here, they stack here, they stack here. And there's the beginning. Looks a little bit wonky right at the very beginning because I don't have this end woven in yet. There we go. That looks better. But you really can't, can't tell much of a difference there because you're doing half the shell here and half the shell here and then you're finishing it off with the single crochet like you would on the top of any other shell or any other at any other peak so it blends together very nicely. So we'll do one more round. So remember, we already did our single crochet. It's marked and that was on a peak so we're going to skip two and the valley is going to be five double crochet. So it's really a, just a two round repeat 
for as much as you want to do, for as long as you want it to be. And here's our last valley, so it gets five double crochets. So there's our last two to skip. Like we did before, we're not finishing a fan, we're starting a fan. So I'm going to slip stitch and chain one. And in that same stitch I'm going to put three double crochets. One, two, and three. And now you skip two and we're at a peak. So it's a single crochet. Skip two. Valley. And here's our last peak. Skip, skip. Single crochet. And we're going to skip these last two and finish this fan with our last two single crochets. I'm sorry, last two double crochets to finish that shell or that fan. In order to make this a fan, go into the very first double crochet that we did and do the single crochet like you would on the top of any other peak. So there you go. It's super easy. Just do that all the way around. If you're finishing a shell, then it's a single crochet at the very top of the first double crochet. If you're not finishing a shell, it's a slip stitch and a chain one and then you add your three. So it's really, 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 really easy. That's the tricky part, is getting the tricky part is just getting that next, the half a shell done. And you can see here that you can barely find, barely even find the seam. It's right here, but you can barely tell because there all blend together just like they're supposed to. So there you go. And that's a sneak peek. We get to make this tomorrow. So practice on your shell in the round. Practice your shell in the round stitch and we can come back and make what Derek calls as my orange sherbet hat. Um, it won't be orange tomorrow though because I'm all out of this orange. Oh no. But thanks for stopping by. Thanks for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimble Hooks and stop back again soon. Remember tomorrow we get to make a cool flapper hat. So see you, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.